Am I the asshole? Because I won't buy food for my ex and our kids. My ex and I divorced when our kids were young. The kids are 12 and 15 now. We have been divorced for 7 years now. We have 50-50 custody and she remarried so spousal support is done. Her new husband recently left her. I don't know, and am not interested, in the particulars. In my opinion he didn't seem like a terrible guy and he left her their house, once again I have no idea of debt load or anything like that. She called me last week to see if I could please help her out with some food. She said that she had run through her budget for food for her and the kids and basically begged me to help her out. I asked her to give me a few minutes and I would call her back. I talked to my girlfriend, who lives with me, and we agreed that we could spare some food. We have a freezer full of elk, venison, and wild hog, as well as a well-stocked pantry. We also have beef, pork, and chicken. I called my ex back and told her to come by and pick up a big load of groceries. This is where it got weird. She said she didn't want groceries. She wanted me to give her money for Uber Eats or something. I said no. I have two weeks worth of food that you can have. But I'm not giving you money for takeout. She called me an asshole for expecting her to be grateful for my scraps. That I was expecting her to be all domestic. Everything I was going to give her was either frozen meat, canned veggies, fresh vegetables from the garden, and pasta rice in unopened bags. I want my kids to eat well. Both of my kids hunt and my son, the older one, is a pretty good cook. He regularly makes meals for all of us at my house. Both kids eat game meat as well as store-bought. I honestly thought I was doing what she asked. I told my girlfriend not to bother packing anything up. I texted both kids and told them to let me know if they were actually going hungry and I would take care of everything. Both kids texted back and said there was food in the house it just needed to be prepared. Both of them also said that if I was willing to spare some of the elk and hog roasts they would take them. I laughed and said I would take them over later. My ex however is telling everyone that I am trying to manipulate her into behaving like a housewife and refusing to buy food for my kids. Some people are taking her side and saying that I'm a dick for not helping her out. 100 balls out honesty. I don't think I'm in the wrong. But maybe I'm missing something. Not the asshole. She, on the other hand, is definitely the asshole. X200B. My ex however is telling everyone that I am trying to manipulate her into behaving like a housewife and refusing to buy food for my kids. Some people are taking her side and saying that I'm a dick for not helping her out. Such bullshit. She's too damn lazy to cook is all. And maybe there's a dose of taking out her husband leaving her on you. Definitely not the asshole. there's no reason to be giving her money. She asked for help with food you were readily willing to give her some of your food but she doesn't want need help with food. She wants needs money. With 50-50 custody you shouldn't have to give her any money. If she absolutely needs it she will have to apply for government benefits. She's being ridiculous. Am I the only one who has the sneaking suspicion the ex isn't just planning on using that money for food? Because it seems like your kids aren't as distressed as your ex makes them out to be, and that there is actually some food in the house. Not the asshole, if she's broke she has no business ordering Uber Eats and should be grateful for your scraps. I suggest you start recording your interactions with your ex, might come in handy eventually. Not the asshole. If anyone confronts you, tell them your ex wants money for takeout. She doesn't want food, which you offered, and which your sons are happy to take. Talk to your boys and see if it's time for a change in the custody agreement. Good luck. This is a wild response from your ex you are not the asshole here. If people are taking her side, don't take it too hard. They heard the drama from her and I'm sure she didn't present the situation in a fair light. If you're close with them ideally you'll have a chance to set the record straight, and if they refuse to see the insanity of refusing high quality, excellent food because you will have to prepare it, then you can safely distance those people from your life.
being able to make food is required of parents. Not the asshole. You used the same approach I use with panhandlers. I will buy food for them and give them the food, but I will not give them money. And it's quite disappointing how few people will let me buy them a sandwich or a meal when they want money. Not the asshole, I'm confused on why she thinks preparing food for her kids is being manipulated into being a housewife. It's called being a normal parent. Clearly, she's nobody's housewife anyways. Not the asshole. Talk about choosy beggars. You aren't manipulating her into behaving like a housewife, you are just expecting her to do some of the most basic adult activities that she needs to keep herself alive. You then made sure that your kids do have the food that they need. It's sad that the preteen and teenager have more life skills than your ex. Not the asshole not going to lie, when I read the name of the post, I was ready to read you for filth. But you did nothing wrong here. You immediately made arrangements to provide food, it just wasn't take out like her entitled ass wanted. Just keep making sure your kids are fed and ignore her pathetic tantrums. Not the asshole, you're good. Wife sounds awful with money and maybe a little manic. Kids sound like they're dealing with it decently. No one is forcing her to do domestic duties except her economic situation. That's not on you. Now I'm craving venison in a city center while on a 30 off ground beef budget. So to me personally you're a bit of an asshole, embarrassed smiley face. Not the asshole. Sounds like a social media issue, right? I mean you're not in group text or getting calls or seeing these people face to face, right? If so, block that account and ignore. It's just not worth even thinking about. Your kids know the truth. You know the truth. If anyone confronts you you can give your side, but ignore otherwise. If she asks again maybe offer to change your custody agreement and have the kids more than 50 so that you can provide healthy food. Your ex is either too lazy to prepare food from ingredients or wants the money for something else. I'm not a cook, but it isn't hard to find simple recipes or even tutorial videos online. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. She didn't want food. Not the asshole. You did exactly what she asked, it's not your fault she wanted something different. Kudos for asking the kids directly if they were fine. Not the asshole if ex isn't prepared to feed the children ask her to send them round for a meal. That way you get more time with them, she doesn't have to be a housewife and the children are given decent meals. The cost of one Uber Eats delivery is the cost of a full week of groceries at the store. She's being unreasonable and you're being very nice. Not the asshole. Turns out she didn't need money for food after all. I think you caught her in a lie and now she's mad at you for it. Sounds like you were giving her the same scraps you eat yourselves lol. Not the asshole. You don't owe her money. You checked in with the kids and they know they have you if they need anything. Not the asshole if I'd had this conversation with my ex, it would have ended with I'll be over to pick the kids who owe since you aren't interested in feeding your own children.